Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're looking at Repixel 8's Gravity Chase. You can grab this right now for $11.99. I was right there in the middle on this one. I loved and hated it at the same time. Uh, I'll explain more as you go. You get three different classes of cars. Uh, speed classes, you have uh, speed 1, 2, and 3. Each one you can unlock... Uh, acceleration max speed or handling uh depending on which car you have they have a max and uh, you can pick what color you want i kind of wish you unlocked the vehicles because it seemed like a grind just for the achievements so it would have been fun to have something to unlock and uh it just feels like you're given everything all at once and uh, you don't have to earn it and uh but one, i will say one thing about it the music is awesome check out this music real quick See, isn't that awesome? The music was by far my favorite uh, aspect of the game. You have 16 levels. Each one you can do different types of... Uh, you can do a regular race. You can do uh, like a shooting up battle. Or you can do like elimination. Last one leaves the game. You have to look at this every single time. I wish there was a menu to uh, just your cars because a lot of times you're looking at the upgrades without really needing to there's three different types of track you have a uh, open wall track that has like a trap around the walls then you have the complete uh, cylinder track where you can spin all the way around it and uh, get some really crazy speeds and don't have to worry about uh, sliding off the track and then you have like on top of the uh, cylinder there's three different difficulties as well for the uh, each of the tracks, and there's different types of uh, modes. There's just standard race, which you'll probably enjoy the most, and then there's a like the fighting mode, like in Mario Kart, and then there's there's a elimination where the last person, uh, you know, in the race gets eliminated until the there's one remaining, and uh, I, I think the racing's the best part. The others just don't seem that great uh the shooting's really weak and it sounds really fair but i'll give you a little example here if you don't have different weapons you just have the one gun see so it feels very weak those other game modes the racing's a lot of fun in my opinion though, you're gonna uh, do that mostly. The objective is to hit these little boosts. The ones that are the big ones are like a boost that when you go over them, it boosts you. And then the little ones you pick up uh, are a save boost that you can use when you want. And uh, you can't win races without this. It doesn't matter how well you upgrade your car. If you don't hit the boost, you're not gonna win. You're gonna be way behind. So uh, that's, the main objective is to hit the boost. It's not really uh, mandatory. You have to hit those. And uh, you can also pick up repair. Uh, like if your vehicle's damaged, it'll repair it. And then you can pick up your weapon as well. And then there's a shield. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this, but uh, it kind of reminds me of F-Zero. But even though the levels change a lot in the background, when you're inside the tube and when you're going so fast, you really don't see them all that much. Uh, the game's biggest uh, thing is speed. And uh, if you like going really fast, you're going to enjoy it. But if uh, you like, you know, enjoying the backgrounds and seeing what's there, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a letdown. In my opinion, it just feels really repetitive. Like uh, the tracks are unlocked with points and you win points by winning races. The same is with the money, but you could actually play the first level over and over and uh, do that if you struggle with the game. So that kind of is a letdown. I wish you unlocked things as you beat levels. It would have added more to it in my opinion. It just feels like a grind. 
I think I had completed uh, like 80 races before I unlocked the last level. So that means playing those same ones over and over. And the different top game types really doesn't help. So uh, it just feels really, really repetitive. It would have been nice to see like some different type of weapons in the battle modes or even throw those in the elimination. Just something to make it feel different. It all just feels the same. Don't get me wrong, it's good in spurts, but uh, it just feels really repetitive if you uh, grind it out. The achievements are easy, but they're a grind as well because it comes with most of them are for unlocking the levels. So uh, that's it's going to be a grind, I'll tell you that now, but it's still fun. You're going to enjoy it in, in spurts. I wouldn't try to do it all at once. I would uh, play it different days, you know what I mean? Don't, uh, don't sit there and grind it out. But everything just feels the same. All the cars feel the same. All the races feel the same. All the levels feel the same. And that's uh, and it's just so repetitive. And that's one of the reasons why I just on the fence. I had a good time, but then I, at times I didn't, and it just felt like a grind. So that's why I'm giving Gravity Chase a 6.5 out of 10. It's worth your time, but uh, and it's affordable. But it's uh, definitely repetitive, and you're definitely going to have mixed feelings probably like I did. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.